Alright then, everyone, hello and welcome back to another episode of the Final Fantasy VI Blindfolded LLG. This time around, it's time to take on Skull Dragon as well as uh, Doom, because I've got to do all this segment in one shot. I don't get the save point until I fight Doom Guardian or Goddess, and honestly, Doom is the biggest chump out of the three, even though I'm bringing my scrub tier team to that fight. He's still the easiest, which should really say how dumb he is. So all the way right. Just gotta follow the same route as before here. Just do one little interconnected bit, and then follow the same route that I've already followed at a different point in the game. Left, down. So yeah, I gotta walk for quite a distance here, and I'm not using that augmented menu trick this time because that would mess with my cursor and I don't want to do that. It's not super likely, I guess, that I'll need healing at any point, but... Well, I guess if anything happens to Party 1 Terra's team before Doom, I'll want to heal them up. And if anything happens to the... And after Skull Dragon, I'll probably want to heal up. No, that's pointless too, because this team is the Moogle Charm. What am I saying? Anyway, that should be far enough. All the way left, not too far. All the way down, also not too far. Left and up until I hit the door. Alright, so now I'm en route to the Skull Dragon. There's not too much that can hit Gogo -Go in this fight, but Elf Fire certainly does the trick, so I need to be worried about that. Everyone else pretty much just needs to do 4,000 damage here. This is Mog, or Gogo. -Go. Wait, what? That's weird. What menu am I actually in here? It ends at the bottom, but not at the top? Maybe I'm in a magic menu. Whose magic menu would it be in, though? Oh, right. I already had my cursor set up before. So, this should be mod, right? Right, okay, attack and throw up that defense of yours. And you should just be Mesosaurin. Yeah, that was bad. I keep forgetting that if I don't actually reset, my cursus will be thrown off. Gogo's still alive, which is nice. He needs to get off three travelers before this fight ends. Maybe only two if the other team somehow does 14,000 damage in the time it takes them to get three travelers off. Hopefully that wasn't Gogo. -Go. Hopefully it was Shadow or Mog. Well, Sabbath's got the red jacket too, so I guess he doesn't matter either. Just as long as it wasn't Gogo. -Go. Oh, this is Mog, I'm being dumb. I don't like hearing those noises it means that someone died, or maybe someone didn't die, they just got condemned and they'll die later. Not fun. I'm not hearing Savin right now, so... Gogo -Go might have died as well. Phoenix Sound Gogo. -Go. Oh yeah, right. Phoenix down, and Saturn. Might as well keep my party members alive. Alright, this should be Mog or Gogo. -Go. And you just start raging. This is Shadow, so get out of that menu. I have no magic menu, which I have to remember. Ninja Stars, now Phantom Rush. That's my second traveler, so he's gonna die from one more traveler, or maybe if the other t members of the team actually manage to contribute something besides that 
Wow, the other men members of the team managed to contribute something. Good work, team, I guess. So, yeah. Not the most brain dead of the dragons, but still not exactly a super difficult boss. And I have the Crusader Magicite that I'll never use for anything whatsoever, but whatever. So now I go right and down until I uh, line myself up with the door here. Had a moment to pause there, like, am I in the one where I have to go to the left or the one where I have to go to the right? But it's definitely to the left. I mean right, but I mix up my left and right. This is confusing now. So, just gotta do this room, but backwards. Squiggly, left, down. One, two, all the way up. And I would have checked with that door there, but it's not super risky, and there's a switch here that will tell me where I am. Or not. Okay, so what happened there? That's not good. Don't want to have to redo this. Problem is, I could have been in a couple rooms when I messed it up. Oh, wait, the switch is on the left. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I just got lucky and stumbled on it too. I didn't even think, oh, maybe the switch is to my left. I was just like, hmm, let's try this. Oh, switch. There we go. So, switch to party one. Walk up until I hit the switch. Or a battle first, apparently. At least this team is fairly well prepared. <laughs> party two is probably the one that's going to be the most likely to actually have an issue with the encounters. Hit the switch. Hit that thing. Go all the way down to the bottom. Now I'll reach the weight, but I can't push it yet because they're on the switch still. But I don't just want to take like one step off the switch and then uh, and then push the weight down because then when the thing opens up, it'll be hard to get the party in the right place. It's best to get both of these parties into the proper position now because otherwise my down and right would take me straight into that passageway and that would be no good. So, might as well make this as easy as possible. Down and left for a while. Then after both these parties are in position, I can push the weight with Terra's team and it becomes super easy. Switch back to Terra's team and mash that A button. Yay, I hit the switch. Now go back in the door. Now we'll go and hit the other switch. Now switch teams. This is party two now at Cyan's group, but a group I don't really want to battle with. They're still not like super likely to die, but there's certainly some chance of it happening compared to the other teams. So now I just uh, start walking down, mash the A button. Now I walk back up and hit the switch. After the after I hear a bunch of other noises first. Nice, not even an encounter. Two left. Now I walk up to hit this switch. Thankfully, at the end of all my walking segments here, pretty much, I hit a switch and that tells me when I've reached the end, so I can just easily turn around and be relatively quick compared to what normally happens in this playthrough where I have to take forever after every movement. So this is team one. And that's definitely a good sign that I switched parties correctly, although, I mean, would I have really expected to mess that up? All the way down, should bring me out this door. Up and left for a bit. I 
I'm sure there's a couple dangerous encounters in this area, so hopefully I won't run into those. I'm not sure what that was. Whatever. I can escape, it doesn't make a difference. On second lot, those were probably veterans, they like their instant death. I think I heard everyone escape. But you know, I don't want this to go sour due to a stupid mistake at this point, so... And that was useless. Item. Yeah. Alright, let's step onto the Doom fight and get ready to go. Time to listen to this music again. So, let's see. This is Setzer or Terra. This is Terra. So magic, right one. She can't have been inflicted with freeze, so that's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I want to slow this guy first and foremost. This is Realm. I want her to do something uh, that actually makes noise. So let's uh, chuck a tincture onto Terra. This is Setzer, so I want him to attack with the fixed dice. Aren't those things handy? So Realm is not frozen. Setzer is probably frozen, that's annoying. So let's uh, use slow again. Well, that's annoying again. Phoenix down, that tincture. I should stop checking every single time, because I do not need to check there. So, essentially my sources of damage are Terra's uh, Lightbringer, Grand Train, which I have to fuel Tinctures every time so it's not so great, and Fixed Dice. Terra can't be frozen, so she's a fairly decent defender of the party. Did it again. It's just habit, I guess. Item. Tincture. Strago. There we go. Hopefully, Cesar comes off pretty soon so I can get the damage really started. I mean, it's not like. It's incredible damage anyways, but it's better than the junk I'm putting out with the rest of my team. Pretty much the only attack of his that can do anything is Demon Rage. Because that can kill Terra, and that can leave the rest of my team open. But you can't really use that too much. Nice, there's my Setzer. Do that damage, Setzer. And Realm can just keep pumping Strago full of MP. I thought Grand Train would go to no use whatsoever, but apparently it is being useful for something, so... So yeah, his first phase, he can pretty much do nothing. And his second phase, he can still pretty much do nothing because... He'll, I don't think he has any ability to use Demon Rage on slow until he runs out of force field options, and that probably will not happen. Our polarity, oh no. I cared so much about what my rows were in. Even the Lightbringer is row independent, so... And my defenses sure don't matter. That Grand Train's 1500 damage isn't, like, super spectacular, but... Compared to a lot of the stuff I can do at this level... It's not half bad. 
It definitely doesn't have the potential that fixed ice does. I don't remember when exactly he begins to use uh, force field, but that's where I want the damage to go fairly well. What? It's hard to hear sometimes my men when my menus come up with all these this noise. Hopefully that was just nice spell, not uncross, because uncross is annoying. With a battle this long, the odds of sets are busting out a 9999 at some point are not low. I actually think that he hit for full nines once in every single one of my test runs, so. And I did like three. So yeah, Realm is on player two because she's the only one who I don't just mash A with. And I definitely want to make this fight as fast as possible because that way he won't run out of force fields to use, although of course at this point in the fight it doesn't matter. Unfortunately I can never slip in an, a tincture edgewise to make Terra crit, but... There we go. Jump the gun there. So yeah, let's just keep this pattern going for the moment. There's Force Field. Strago will also learn it, but I don't think it'll ever be useful. All his counter attacks just go straight to waste. Isn't the True Knight incredible? And with him being on slow, he's just such... He's just pretty much as slow as dirt. So yeah, it's pretty much impossible to tell how fast the battle is going, because I have no idea how much Fixed Ice is actually doing. So at any given moment, I could take another forever to finish the fight, or it could be done practically in the next turn. It's annoying when Strago ends up just after Realm, but... I think the way the turns work out, it's bound to happen eventually. I'm, I think this might be the last time Fixed Dice gets any use in the run. I don't have a Merit Award, so Mog can't really use it. And Setsu's, with Setsu's low level, it's honestly not, like, amazingly effective. Force Field number three. I've got eight of those before he starts actually being somewhat dangerous. Oh, whoops, I just... dang it. I actually had an opportunity to correct that, but I accidentally messed it up. I'll just have Strago defend, because that way... it doesn't mess up with... mess with my turns in any way. Yeah, that's Strago. So just have him defend. Waste of time, I know, but... Let's do it right this time. Wow, he's dead already? Or was that normal? I don't really remember. Whatever. The first of the three statues is down. Four bosses left in the entire game. And honestly, they shouldn't have too great a chance of killing me. Or 
Alright, so to the save point. Let's take that off. Setzer apparently got up to full HP at some point. <laughs> Which means that he really, really probably should have died at some point during that fight, but it didn't happen, so I'm not complaining. Well, I guess then again, he does have really high magic evasion. I stacked it up to 90. Even still, with the counterattacks flying around, I'm a little bit surprised. See you next time!